With phones getting faster and faster, and with mobile apps getting more graphic intensive, there has been a gradual increase with the amount of RAM found in handsets. Gone are the days when you could simply have one gigabyte or less of RAM in your phone. So while the general conception that for computers, more RAM is better isn't necessarily untrue, it's a little bit different for mobile phones. When thinking about RAM on mobile phones, you're mainly thinking about your apps and the memory that your apps are using. So how it happens is that when you open up more than one app on your phone, the app that you have running in the background is actually stored on RAM. This app actually includes the operating system, in this case being iOS or Android itself, but more on this later. So every time you have an app in the background or up, open up a new tab in your browser, you're using RAM. Therefore it follows that the more memory that an app uses, or the more features that an app uses, the more RAM that you'll need. So generally speaking, having more RAM allows more multitasking and allows the user to get back into an application to the same state prior to switching apps. If you have too many apps open or too many tabs open, when you try to switch back to a background app, it will have to reload the state. When thinking about RAM for your smartphone, the next question you should be asking comes down to one thing, the operating system. iPhones, historically and to this day, will require less RAM for a lot of the same processes and apps. To oversimplify things, Apple is just much better at the optimization of RAM-based processes as Apple has the benefit of making its hardware in-house. iOS is specifically made by Apple to run on Apple devices and it's optimized by the company that designs its chips. Android, on the other hand, is made for many devices, not just for one system. On top of this, each individual handset maker will add their own skin on top of base Android that could potentially take up more RAM as well. So, as a general rule of thumb, if you're using an Android phone, you'll be needing more RAM. So let's take a look at just exactly how much RAM most common apps take up on your phone. Social media apps like WhatsApp and Messenger usually take up between 100 and 300 megabytes of RAM on your phone. These are on most people's phones and even the most basic of handsets should be able to handle these apps no problem. Next up are browsers and video players, which can take up much more RAM on your phone depending on how many tabs you have open. Google Chrome, one of the most popular web browsers for Android, can regularly use up to 500 megabytes of RAM, which is half a gigabyte. If you're loading any kind of graphic intensive site or playing a video, this number can jump up dramatically. And finally, on the last class of apps, we have games. Games, depending on how graphic intensive they are, can range anywhere from 100 to 500 megabytes of RAM usage. Some of the bigger, more graphic demanding games like PUBG or FIFA will of course use much more RAM and will require up to one gigabyte of memory. So when you add up all these numbers for social media apps, browsers and games, and of course the actual cost of RAM for the operating system itself, you can begin to see why we have 6, 8, and 12 gigabytes of RAM on these modern phones. And on top of this, on these feature-rich flagships, you often have a heavily skinned version of Android. These extra mods to the operating system will eat up more RAM itself and require more base RAM for your handset. So, if you put some heavy-duty usage into your smartphone and are constantly switching between apps and multitasking, and like to have a game running in the background as well, 8 and 12 gigabytes of RAM isn't necessarily a bad thing for you. But on the other end, if you're using your phone mostly to make calls and maybe some light web browsing or messaging, then you can probably get away with 6 or less gigabytes of RAM. The best way for you to decide is to actually try out the smartphone and open up the apps that you would normally open up during your usage. If you find some lag when switching between apps or you find that your apps and or web pages are reloading themselves while multitasking, you might want to opt for more RAM. So I hope this video helps you decipher just exactly what kind of specifications you require on your next phone. If you think your smartphone requires RAM for different reasons, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.